But the reason I did this, aside from responding to some of the ignorance and just kind of letting out my own frustrations, was this is the type of thing right now. This is American Family Radio. I've talked about it in a number of videos. I'm sure there will be more. But when I say that they engage in transphobia on pretty much every program, every day, as many times as possible, they spread these false narratives. They talk about genital mutilation and and groomers and all of this stuff every single day. And this is pumped directly into people's cars as they're going to work. Now, I listen because I like to keep track of what's going on. But the reason I put this out here is because for people who are already religious, people who are uninformed, people who maybe are not supportive of diversity within our country, this is what's being pumped into them every day. So when you see those proud boys standing outside of a drag queen story time, when you see the person holding that sign saying that God hates, insert F word here, when you see all of this violence and this bigotry and these people that are attacking the LGBT community every day, these are the people that are helping do it. They are indoctrinating it every single day. They are driving this into people's heads. They are stirring people up that there's a war a brew a brewing and they're actually the ones creating a war and they're creating it against fellow citizens here in the country. We're seeing this type of hate increase and it's because of the radical right-wing evangelical indoctrination that happens not only in our churches but on our radio programs and on television. That's what's happening in the country and that is why we have a problem. We have it locally in local churches that spread the propaganda. You'll see that I did a video on my local right-wing cult They've done sermons on transgenderism and all of this bull. We had the statement at CPAC where a speaker, Knowles, I can't remember his first name right now, but you guys, I'm sure, have seen the story. Michael Knowles, that's it. Where he literally said that transgenderism must be eradicated. That is what we've got going on. We have the makings, the beginnings of a genocide and it's being perpetrated, it's being planned out by Christian fundamentalist evangelicals who are trying to take over the government, who are trying to instill this into our laws in a secular nation built on separation of church and state, which they are trying to tear down. You see it in Ohio, where I live, but this is what's being pumped in. This is why we're seeing the radicalization. This is why we're seeing these laws. This is why we're seeing book bans and trans health care bans and tra uh, trans sports bans and bathroom bills and people who are talking about overturning marriage equality and, you know, Roe v. Wade being overturned and local abortion bans and state abortion bans. All of this is because of evangelicalism, the extremist. And frankly, it's to me, it qualifies as almost a form of terrorism when you are having trans people, LGBT people, every single day, every single session of Congress, having to worry, is this the day, is this the session where I lose my human rights, the very few that we already have. That is what we have going on. That is why we have to be involved. That is why if you are currently a non-voter, you need to get your ass registered and get out there and vote and vote these people out. And if you are a voter, you need to be calling your Congress people and letting them know that these laws are not representative of you and that you will hold them accountable at the ballot box for doing it. We have to stand up, we have to take action, and we have to start fighting back, legally fighting back. Let me clarify in case somebody wants to bring something stupid up. I am talking about protest. I am talking about voting. I am talking about throwing the bums out on their asses through the ballot box. And that is what we have to do. We have to vote. We have to get the youth of this country registered to vote and involved in their local politics. From everything from dog catcher to president of the United States, we've got to be out there. We've got to make the change because if we're waiting for somebody to change it for us, honey, you're going to keep on waiting. 
you got to do the footwork. So thank you for joining me on the Trans Atheist. If you have ideas for other videos, please leave them in the comments or email me. Let me know what you think. Always please subscribe and watch any new videos. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you.